the Skeleton Coast. I'm on the skeleton coast of Namibia today. It's fantastic, if very, very isolated. I have never seen a road this quiet in my life. There is, I, I'm just parked on the road. Just standing on the road. Hello, anybody there? Anybody anywhere? Nothing, not a soul in sight or sound. It's another mild day on the Skeleton Coast and another busy road. And yet despite the apparent emptiness and barrenness of this place, and there's no doubt there is a lot of empty space, there is quite a lot to see and do along this stretch of coast. At Cape Cross you'll find this cross, set up by, originally by the Portuguese explorer in 1486 ish. And at that location is the Cape Cross Seal Reserve, one of the world's largest colonies of Cape fur seals, distinct from other seals because their ears are on the outside, but also a massive colony. Now, if you're a little, a little pup like this guy looking for his mum, how would you go about finding amongst a quarter of a million? other bleating, sounding rather like sheep, seals. Good luck to you. The biggest attraction by far along this coastline is fishing. Rock and surf fishing right off the beach. There is literally hundreds of kilometers. So you can roll up to the beach, Pick your spot, cast a line. If you don't like the neighbours, you're not getting good fishing. Just pack up, put everything in the back of the truck. Take a drive down the beach. Find another spot that uh, hopefully is a little more suitable to your taste. There's plenty of space to choose from. Want to pick up some souvenirs? Pull into one of the laybys and find these abandoned little stalls where you make a donation and take away some salt. Yep, the other thing you'll find along this coast is these massive fields, fields of salt. Or try and track down some wildlife. There's a jackal. And keep a look out along the road for the slightly slower moving traffic, like this little desert chameleon. Another thing the Skeleton Coast is famous for is its shipwrecks. Now a lot of the shipwrecks are based far north, but there is one or two, including this fairly recent one, in the southern half of the Skeleton Coast. You can see it from the beach, so you can, it's very easy to find. And despite a lot of rumours that, you know, Skeleton Coast is called Skeleton Coast because of the skeletons of the ships, or the skeletons of the sailors that didn't survive once they swam ashore and then found themselves in the desert, Skeleton Coast is actually named after all the bones of the whales that are washed up on the shore. The main current that comes up here comes from pretty much the South Pole, where there's lots of big whales that die, and their bones are brought up by the current and deposited on the shore here. Hence there's lots of bones and skeletons. That's how the name came about, Skeleton Coast. I'm here hiding behind a truck from the wind which is howling across this desert and I'm here to see a plant called the Velvicia mirabilis. It's a unique plant that it's neither a tree nor a shrub or a grass. It has its own unique categorization and is only found in one place in the world and that's right here. Velvicia Mirabilis.
To most people though, the Skeleton Coast Road is just a drive through. They may stop off and see the seals, stop off and see a shipwreck, have a look at a few things on the way, but to most people it's heading north to the Skeleton Coast National Park and from there inland into Tomorrowland. It's a good long drive and to be sure an interesting one on salt roads. I don't know any other country in the world that has roads made of salt. But 200 kilometres north of Swakopmund, you will eventually arrive at the Skeleton Coast National Park Gate. And that's it for another day, folks. I hope you enjoyed our little trip through Skeleton Coast, highlighting some of the things that you can do there, even though when you first turn up, it looks entirely empty. I will be doing more videos explaining about the gate system and the entrance and exit through the Skeleton Coast National Park. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions or queries about uh, the Skeleton Coast and traveling through it, drop us a message at, uh, or give us a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with any relevant information. Enjoy our travels and tomorrow we're off the Swakopee.